Hey, you're listening to Don't Make Sense. I'm Dr. Vivian Rodriguez, an educational psychologist, blogger, educator, and coach who loves to talk about style, life, creating, and mental health. Okay, so I started this podcast to create a space to talk about style and substance, to talk about the complexities of being a woman who's authentic and thriving. All right, let's get into it. In this episode, we're going to be talking about five curly girl fitness tips to rock your workout. All right, the gym. Let's talk about it. The gym can be an intimidating place, especially for curvy girls. All right, so it's been about two and a half years since I really started getting into going to the gym and working out more on a regular basis. Um, So I understand how the gym can be very intimidating for curvy girls or just for like, I think women in general or just people who, you know, haven't had that kind of fitness lifestyle. Although we know this, it's tempting to think that the gym is only for those with a six pack. It's for those who already are fit. In order to work out, you already have to meet society's, uh, you know, kind of nonsensical ideas. And that's not the case. So we want to toss that idea out because everyone has to start somewhere. So people that you see at the gym, they started somewhere, right? Um, and people that you see that are the fitness level you want to be at or the health, like are healthier or whatever than where you're at, um, they had to start somewhere. So here are a few tips on how to get your curvy fitness journey on at the gym. So you like Amazon, but you don't know what styles to get. Go ahead and check out my Amazon Live. I'm an A-list creator, which means I do a lot of lives and people like them. <laughs> So go ahead and head over to the show notes for this episode to go and join the live. And don't forget to follow me on Amazon. And then keep in mind, as an Amazon associate, I do earn from qualified purchases and all opinions are my own. And I'll see you guys around. Hey, I know you guys do not have a ton of time to just be scrolling through social media. You got better things to do, right? So that's why I revamped and relaunched my Fave Finds newsletter. And what I did is, it's kind of an in case you missed it. So I scour through the internet to find some styles for midsize and curves. And I also add just some different podcast episodes or books that I'm into lately, just some good stuff for your email inbox. So go ahead and head over to the show notes for this episode to sign up for my fave finds. And don't worry, I'm not going to spam your email inbox. It'll be some good stuff. Tip number one, wear what you want and what feels comfortable. I feel like this is so important. Wearing comfy gym clothes is a must. Moreover, wearing like well-fitting workout clothes can significantly affect how you feel at the gym. Um, So you want to opt for items that are going to fit your body well. So you want to, you know, really think about whatever works for you in terms of coverage. So I don't mind wearing a, you know, just a sports bra and leggings. I don't really care. But if you need, like when you start to have more coverage, then you're going to want to just do that. But find things that you really like. And you want to wear clothes that allow you to move so that you can focus on your workout. You don't want to be messing with different items, clothing, when you're trying to work out, do squats or something or do a machine. So I always think about getting like leggings, for instance, that are squat proof, that are not going to like roll down. You know, um, although some still do like they, you know, it's inconsistent type of thing anyway. So I think just really thinking about what you plan to do at the gym and then making sure that your clothing are, is, is going to your outfits are going to be able to support those activities. Tip number two, think about what is your curvy fitness journey? Why? So think about what your goals are and keep them ever present to help you fuel your motivation. So, for instance, your goals can range from building strength. Um, getting fit or simply feeling better, whatever it is, you want to revisit these goals in your why often to help you stay focused and confident. So there's days I do not want to go to the gym. I don't feel like it. I'd rather just stay in my car. I mean, there's times where I actually get to the gym, but then I have trouble like getting out of the car. Like I just want to like sit in the car. I'm like, I got to get out. (laughs) It's like, it's so many steps to just get to 
getting in there. And then once I'm in there, I'm like, okay, let's just do this. So I think you want to think about why you're doing it. I really try to focus on afterwards, I'll feel so much better. And that is one of the biggest reasons why I started going to the gym because I noticed how it just really boosts my mood. I feel more clear in, in terms of my thinking, my focus. And on top of that, I also, I just feel more focused. And on top of that, I also, you know, feel just healthier, stronger, more fit, and everything just seems better. So I think that when you keep that ever present, it's going to help you for the days you do not feel like going. Those days when it's like cold outside, it's rainy, I just rather stay home. And then I go, I feel so much better and I'm glad that I did it, but it's just, it's tough. So I feel like that's something you just want to really get clear on so that it can fuel your consistency. Be proud of what your body can do. You can be unstoppable when you silence the nonsensical standards of beauty that society sets. So you want to remember your body is super strong and wildly capable. Therefore, you should be proud of it. Resist the temptation to compare yourself to others. Instead, focus on the powerful things your body can do. Listen, I did not think I could squat. I don't even know what I'm at. <laughs> but um, having a trainer and going to the gym consistently for over a year now. So before I was going, but really, you know, having like a plan and a rhythm and evaluating it often has change the game for me. I feel so much stronger. And there's things that I can do that I never thought I could do um, and do it well, you know, and then notice that I get stronger. And I can take on more weight. I can do uh, something for a longer period of time. So just be, uh, for, I think first thing is be proud of what you're able to do and that you have the ability to do the gift of being able to move your body. And then when you start to really build your strength, you're going to be like impressed with yourself, which you should be. So I think really keep that in mind, keep that at the forefront so that again, you're going to be focusing on what you can do um, when you're at the gym. Tip number four, start with small steps. Start where you are in your fitness journey. More specifically, if you are new to working out or at going to the gym or it's been a while or whatever, you know, just ease back into it. Doing too much too soon is like a total recipe for burnout. Begin with a few exercises and build your intensity and duration over time. It's the small steps over time that will lead to huge results over time. So just kind of make a plan of like how many times a week you want to get in and for how many minutes can you start. And then once that becomes pretty easy, you know, then you want to like kind of uh, pump it up after that. So there's a book that I recently read called The 5 a.m. Club, and it talks about like the habit installation protocol. And it talks about how it takes like 66 days in order to build a habit. So going to the gym is to really get like a rhythm. It's going to take a while. So start small. And in the beginning, like the first, I would say like, couple weeks, the first month, is it's tough because you're excited and then the enthusiasm starts to wane a bit and you just, it's easy for you to just go back to the default, right? So you want to start with small steps. And like I said in another episode, really just track your progress in, in, in the practice. So track your progress in getting to the gym, track your progress and like how many exercises you're able to do. And just really just commit to trying to get through the first month, and then you'll be able to build from there. Build your hype team. That is tip number five. Create a positive circle of support around you. Look, these don't have to be people that go to the gym with you. Maybe it's a friend you call as you head to the gym. You can have a friend that goes on a walk with you. Another idea is consider like getting a trainer like I did, and, and that's been a game changer. Whatever it is, having supportive individuals around you will help you stay focused and motivated. So it could be, you know, like people talk about an accountability partner, but maybe you don't have somebody that can go to the gym when you can go, you know, or that sort of thing. Or maybe for me, I like having a trainer, but when I'm going to go work out, I just want it to be my time. So whatever mood I'm in, I don't have to like, oh, now I got to like be like nice or friendly or talkative with somebody um, or I feel bad. And then it becomes a thing. 
So for me, that doesn't work. So what works is like, I know I call my sister on the way to the gym and she's listening to this. She's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a 10 minute call, you know, or maybe after the gym. So, you know, really find what your rhythm is and you want people that are going to be like cheering you on as you head to the gym um, so that you can keep staying focused and motivated. In summary, starting your curvy fitness journey starts with, you know, really embracing your, your body and focusing on your goals, building your confidence at the gym with wearing comfortable clothes, starting with small steps, and surrounding yourself with supportive individuals. Like what you're hearing? Go ahead and subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. You can also share the podcast on Instagram and tag me at Live by Viv. As far as my music, it's The Croft by Joachim Karud. And everything we talked about in this episode can be found in the show notes on livebyviv.com. Okay, and remember, don't mix in because you don't need to.